This news segment from KLRU brought to you by Texas Mutual Insurance. Austin is really at a crossroads and we're at a point of an affordability crisis. Last November, Austin voters approved a $65 million bond aimed at tackling that crisis. It was similar to one that passed a few years earlier. In 2006, about 75% of the bond funding went toward rental housing development and about 25% went to homeownership opportunities or housing repair for low-income homeowners. Affordable housing advocates say you can expect the funds to be used in similar ways this time around. A wave of tax credit applications are under consideration now. For new construction, they'll be announced in July. One of the organizations involved in repairs to existing structures is Meals on Wheels and More. Meals on Wheels is well known for delivering food to people who are homebound, but their volunteers discovered a need for home repair during their deliveries. Our volunteers go into these houses every day delivering meals, and they report back to us that, you know, Mrs. Rodriguez or whoever needs her, you know, front door fix, or she has a hole in the floor, or her toilets are leaking, or she's falling through the floor, or something like that. We spend roughly about 15000 per house, and which doesn't do it all, but it keeps them safe and allows them to live comfortably in their house. Another focus for affordability advocates in Austin is making sure residents can live all over town. We don't want to concentrate poverty. We don't want to concentrate low-income families. What we want to do is provide them with access to opportunity. So about half of the bond funds were invested west of I-35. Bond-funded complexes will be ready for move-in at the earliest in 2015. For KLRU, I'm Allison Sanza. This news segment from KLRU was brought to you by Texas Mutual Insurance.